Hi everyone, Jahar here from M Square. Are you a YouTuber or content creator looking to take your channel to the next level? Imagine having the ability to automate community posts, engage in polls and quizzes all without lifting a finger. Sounds incredible, right? Well, today we are going to show you a game changing automation that will do just that. This powerful system will help you boost your channel's engagement, attract more subscribers and save you countless hours of manual work. Sounds exciting, right? Let's check out a cool demo. Here is our YouTube channel's community page. So I'm going to trigger an automated test post, poll and quiz. So let's see here. So I'm just going to run this workflow. This is to create a test post and parallelly to create a community po a poll and then for a quiz. So let me run it. So test post is created. Poll has been created now and quiz is just running and it is also created. Yeah. So now let's go to our community page and just give a refresh. Great guys. So I believe you can see here. So there is a question, a quiz and a test post. So coming to test post, it says how to set up an automated SMS analysis service with AI in time. So there is a brief title, then a description and read more link. That's cool, right? And then you can see a question. How helpful would you find an AI powered SMS analysis service with time? So it's like a poll. And then there is a question which feature in make.com allows you to define custom function using JavaScript. See code by make custom modules, automation script, JavaScript content. Cool, right? So I believe you can start generating automated community posts, polls and queues. So get started now. Let's go in detail. To begin with, we are going to build these automation workflows in a platform known as Make. Make is an app where we can connect 1000 plus tools. So here, if you are new to Make, don't worry guys. We are going to provide a link in description where if you sign up, you are going to get a pro plan with 10,000 operations for free. Now, once you sign up, you will land into an organization page. So in organization page, you can see all your subscription and operation details. So just go to scenarios and then you can click on create a new scenario. This is the page where we are going to connect our trigger and our action modules. So we know our actions are divided into three. So the first one is creating a community test post. Second is poll and third is queues. To create this post, the main challenge is content whether I have to generate content from set of different topics stored in Airtable or Monday.com or Google Sheet, then I have to use those module as trigger. Or if I have to generate this content from a news feed, then I can go with an RSS feed. Yeah, so that's how we have to select our trigger module. So I'm going to showcase the first scenario, the workflow that is already created, that is on creating community test post. Guys, don't worry about the workflow because I'm going to explain you in step by step in detailed way so that you can easily build this out. So in creating community test post here, I have selected an RSS module watch RSS feed items to create the test post. This is because it's easy to generate RSS feed on different topics like AI. Suppose your community is on uh, AI related members or if your community is uh, like on marketing automations, then you can generate RSS feed specific to those topics. To generate RSS feed, you can go to rss.app and just log in and just mention the topic where it will start generating RSS feed on that particular topic. Suppose your topic is on painting or your topic is on automobiles, just mention that and just get that RSS feed and come to the workflow and you can see the RSS module just while searching here RSS and then select the module watch RSS feed items. So once you open it, unlike other videos, in other videos we talked about connection, here we don't have the connection. So just feed in the RSS URL which is going to give you the latest feeds on a particular topic. So just uh, input the URL here and how many number of returned items like maximum number of returned items 
should be provided here. So here in our case, we are going to post one feed a day or suppose you are going to post multiple feeds, then you have to input the count in that format. Say you are, you are planning to post three community test posts in a day. Then you can input here three and then press OK and then schedule it like every three hours or every six hours accordingly. So scheduling is also very important. So I'm going to keep the limit to one. So here I have used the AI brain. The AI brain used is open AI. So here in open AI, you can see the module. What I have used, it's create a completion prompt module. So that you can see under open AI, you can see here create a completion prompt. So once you select that, firstly, you need to add connection. So to add connection, a proper guide is provided here online help and then you have to input API key and organization ID. So that's very easy. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. And then you need to select the option, create a chat completion, select the model GPT 4.0, or you can go with any other uh, model as well. Here we need to provide system user and assistant very carefully. So in system, you can see I have provided, you are a helpful YouTube community post creator. Then in user, we can see create a YouTube community post from below content with title map from the RSS feed. So it's very easy. Once you click, you can see the title, description, summary, URL, and then set of instruction. This is very important because all the community post, whether it's a test post, poll or queues, you need to follow the rules or the character limit. So you need to specify all those instructions. So here we are mentioning like do not put HTML format, do not use markdown characters or uh, square brackets, right? So we have to give all these instruction and then we have to give some assistance as well. Like in assistant will provide some sample community test post. So OpenAI knows your taste or what kind of post you wish to it, uh, you wish to output, right? So they will understand you and give the output. Now. Don't worry about these prompt and all. I can provide you as a note in the description so that you can easily download from there. Now it's a time to create community posts using the YouTube custom app module. So this module is not available in make as such, but you can find out in our page. You can just go to our page, which I will provide in description. That is YouTube automation app under our M square page. Here you can see the complete instructions on how to download this app. Like you need to fill out a form and get the app installed. Then you can choose a relevant plan. Like we have trial plan, subscription and lifetime. I'm going to give you a big, big offer in this video. In one part of this video, I'm going to give you a coupon code which will unlock you with a 70% off on the lifetime app. And with this lifetime app, you can pin a comment, you can create community test post, poll, queues, etc. So don't miss out for the coupon code. Yeah, keep watching. Coming back to the scenario, once you have installed the app, you can search YouTube here. So you can see the YouTube V1.2 will be visible. And then you can see the community related uh, modules like list community post comment on community post, list comments from community post, reply to community post, create community post, like community post comment. So n number of modules are available here. So choose the right one that is create community post. So once you uh, click on the module create community post, you can see the connection side. In connection page, you can see client ID secret. You need to accept YouTube's terms and policy and then you need to input the API key which will be sent to your email once you fill the form. Yeah, that's pretty easy. All the guidelines are provided here. Even the help link on how to get client ID and secret is also provided as a hyperlink over here. Yeah, so once you add the connection, it's very important that you need to input your channel ID. So once you go to your studio page, uh, YouTube studio, you will get the uh, channel ID, you need to input the channel ID and then select the post type. We have options like test post, test poll, queues, video post. So I'm selecting test post and then we need to map the output from OpenAI. 
So OpenA is a brain going to give you the output data for you to community test post. So let's keep it and let me uh, let me run this module. Let's see the magic. So it's running. So the community post is uh, outputted. So you can see here there is a post on economic survey highlights AI's potential and challenges to future of work in India. So let's go to the community page and refresh this and let's see the post how it looks. So you can see there is a post on that economic survey and there is a read more link as well. So if uh, if your audience want to know more details, we can provide link on RSS feed so they can get to know about it in details. Now let's go to create community poll. This is a scenario created to generate community poll. It's same as the previous one. A few changes has been made. So again, we are using RSS feed. So I'm not going to explain that. And then the same open AI module has been used here. The change is in the prompt. So if we open the module, you can see the system is same, but the user content, you can see create poll with three poll options from below content and return them in JSON format. So we need to map the title, description, summary from the RSS. So that you can see here, title, description and summary can be seen here. You, you need to just map it and you need to give a clear instruction. This instruction is very clear because the polls are provided in a defined array. So you need to say that, okay, uh, output should be in JSON format output JSON format in this method, in this format, like poll test, poll option. So as mentioned before, I'm going to grab all these prompt in a test file and provide as a link in description. So it's easy for you to copy paste. Yeah. So as mentioned, this should be with all the JSON formatting. And then we have to provide the character length because in YouTube community poll post, there is a character limit of 65 characters. So we have to provide that as well in the instruction. So once provided, we need to pass the output in the uh, JSON module. So you can find the JSON module here. So there is a JSON uh, module. You can see parse JSON. So just out, uh, use the parse JSON module, provide the output. That is a result from OpenAI. And then uh, choose the same module that we created in the last scenario, that is create community post. But the difference is instead of test post, we are going to create a test poll. So here uh, you can see uh, the JSON module is going to give us different uh, parameters like poll test, poll options 1, 2, 3, right? So let's see the demo, uh, the initial demo till the JSON module. So let's run it. You can see the OpenAI has output a result in JSON structure with poll test and poll options in the form of an array and this result is passed by parse json module to give us a poll test variable and poll options in the form of an array now it's very easy so just we need to connect it and map the poll test from here and just uh, expand the poll options and map the poll option the first one and the second one so it's the same mapping except you need to provide an index like the first one is by default one, so it uh, it denotes one. And for the second option, we need to input two. And for the third option, we need to input three, right? And once provided, let's run it and see. Here it goes, guys. So we have created a community poll. Let's see the poll here. Let's go to our uh, community page and have a refresh. See guys, how do you feel about Gen AI impacting remote workers first? So it's a poll asking about uh, three, uh, with asking with three options like cons concerned about job security and need for reskilling, neutral or unsure about potential changes, optimistic about productivity, etc. Amazing, right? So now let us go to the last topic to be discussed in today's video that is on creating community queues. So here, instead of RSS module, because creating queues from a news feed, it's very difficult. So instead of creating, uh, starting with a trigger module of RSS feed, we have used a set variable where we have given some topics like 
AI automation, no code automation using make.com, Zapier, custom app development, business automation. So you can give any topic like lead management, social media automation, or uh, some marketing like LinkedIn marketing, etc. You can provide in a Google Sheet, Airtable, then you need to choose those relevant modules as a first module. So I just selected set variable module, which you can see here under tools section, and then you can input uh, these details. Yeah. So once selected, I have used the same open AI, which has been used in the previous scenarios with only the difference in the prompt. So here also you can see I provided in user section there will be multiple topics in below test. Select one topic randomly and create a quiz question with four options. So I'm giving the topic and there I'm giving a structure. I want a special structured JSON with question and options array. Again, this will also be added to your prompt file, which I will provide in description. So just input these details and also mention about the character length. That's again very important and say that it's a quiz, so they should be very aware, our AI brain, right? The AI brain that we use should be aware of uh, a quiz, that's what we are going to post in YouTube community. So then uh, we have the JSON module, let's run it and see what OpenAI is going to give us. So OpenAI is given a beautiful JSON with question, what functions in make.com allows you to send HTTP request. And they have, they have given the webhook function false, HTTP module true. So like question, answer, right? And then it is passed under parse JSON module with the question and the options. So we need to just connect this module, same module that we used in the last two scenarios and select the post type as quiz. And remember again, the channel ID should be correct or it will throw an error that we cannot create a post. So make sure you input the right channel ID where you have authorization and select the post type as quiz, map the question and under the options, you can see you can expand the options variable and map the option one, then correct answer one. And then again, you can map options to correct answer two. So you need to change the index as I mentioned. For the first one, you can make it empty or input one by default, it's same. And for the option two, you should change the index to two. For option three, input the index as three, yeah? So keep uh, putting that up to four options. And then let's run this. I'm waiting what OpenAI is going to create, let's see. So this time let's refresh our community page and see here in make formerly Indigromat, what does the iterator function primarily allow you to do? So it says different options and with the correct answer, convert a list of items into individual items for processing that has been chosen as a correct answer for the audience. So amazing guys, I believe this will be a game changer because I have never seen a YouTube community post automation. Are you excited? Cool. So let me tell you that coupon code which I have not mentioned throughout this video, right? So it's time to reveal. As mentioned, you can avail 70% off on our lifetime plan for this YouTube automation app with coupon code M square 70. Check out this app and try and if you are stuck in somewhere, feel free to add your queries in the comment section. We are on a mission to build an automated world. Join us in implementing AI and no code automation across businesses. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe for more exciting content. Thanks for watching and let us build an automated future together.